Would you please be seated? For neither Ian nor Isabel is this the first time that they have found themselves being set apart to the Lord's work from the heart of this congregation, because some years ago we set Isabel apart to work in the context of Scripture Union's ministry in Scotland. And as we close our service this morning, although she doesn't know it yet, we're going to sing the hymn that we sang on that particular day. For Ian, this is the one of many occasions when he has been set apart here in this fellowship to serve God in Thailand. And the difference for them both now is that they are going to Thailand, having been brought together by God and yoked in his service. And in that, as a fellowship of God's people, we heartily rejoice. And today we are coming to gather round them, as it were, entirely in the pattern of the people of God in the early church, who, when God had signaled to them that there were some of their number who had been called to serve him in other lands, they met together to set them apart by prayer and the laying on of their hands that they might serve God in the name of that fellowship and supported in every way by them. The laying on of hands in Scripture did not confer some particular ecclesiastical office. What it did was to signify that the people of God through that symbol shared in the ministry and in the responsibility that were given to those who were sent out. The classic example of it, perhaps, is in Acts 13, when in the church at Antioch there were prophets and teachers, and while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went. It is precisely on that pattern that we say, It has seemed good to us and to the Holy Spirit to set apart Ian and Isabel to this ministry. And as we come together to covenant with God concerning them and the work to which we believe God is calling them, we share in that as we lay hands upon them and as you as God's people within this church family signify your sharing in this laying on of hands in a particular way. It would be impossible for us all for the sake of their heads as well as for the sake of this geographical position that we are in to lay our hands on them together. Ideally, that would be the best thing to do. But we signify that we share in this and in the responsibility of their ministry by rising now and standing in our places As we pray, I'm going to ask Ian and Isabel to kneel. Let us pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we bow before you to give you our heartfelt thanks for these your servants whom you have drawn to yourself and called into the matchless privilege of being servants of the Lord Jesus. And today, as we believe as a company of your people that you have called them to serve you in Thailand, we would now, by prayer and the laying on of our hands, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, set them apart to this ministry. 
Pour out your spirit upon them. Gracious Lord, we pray. Freshly anoint them with your grace and with that authority which has been given unto you in heaven and on earth. Grant that they may discover your presence going with them, your Holy Spirit making glorious the promises of God and making vivid the reality of your presence as they go in obedience. Grant to them, we pray, and to Susie, a gracious sense of the living God going before them as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. We pray that you will keep them in all their ways, preserve and protect them from all the powers of darkness and give them an abundant victory in all the warfare to which you send them. May their ministry be abundantly fruitful. And to this end, O oh God, we pray that you would anoint their lips, both in the language of their native land and in the language which you give them to learn, and grant that they may speak for you, but even more, that the fragrance and beauty of Jesus and the testimony of obedient lives may tell for you in that land and amongst that people. We pray today for their families and ask that you will pour out an abundance of your grace upon them. We commend Dr. and Mrs. Murray to you Pray that you will bless and keep them as we give you thanks for their service. We thank you for Mrs. Hunter and commit her and her needs to you today too. And pray that these families may be enriched rather than impoverished through the obedience of their children. Hear us, O God, as we pray that you will come and set your seal now upon your servants and that going forth by the call and commission of the Holy Spirit, they may be filled with all the fullness of God. We ask it through Christ our Redeemer. Amen.